let me talk to you about uh, band members over the years. You know, yeah. um, of course, the Howard Lease and, and, and that era of uh, Barracuda and all that stuff. When you have different, you guys have had many band members. When you have different band members, does it take a little time to get used to their feel? Because I know when I would change drummers, or, or a guitar player, the band would be completely a different feel. And it's not that it's bad, but do you ever think about the old days, the old lineup, the magic, the chemistry of that? I mean, stuff like Magic Man, part of it is that lead coming in or Barracuda, you know, these, uh -huh. the sound of these guys and the chemistry. Yeah, um, it's interesting because in 2013, when we were inducted into the Rock Hall, um, was the first time we'd gotten together with the original lineup to play again after like 30 years, you know? And uh, we got together the day before to rehearse because we were gonna do Crazy On You and Barracuda, I think. And it struck me that the way the original lineup felt was so white. It was just so up, down, left and right. There was no swing factor to it. Wow. And, over the, and over the years I'd gotten used to um, because I identify as a singer with the rhythm section so much, I'd gotten used to Denny Carmasi oh. on drums, who's got who's an amazing drummer and just has this swing factor just going. And uh, then later on, you know, Denny Karma or, or I mean, uh, uh, Denny Fongheiser, who's a great percussionist, and he's got even more, you know. And now I'm working with Sean T. Lane from Seattle, who's this young guy who's just all over it. And it just keeps getting more and more and more swing to it. So to go back to the original lineup and feel this kind of Germanic yeah. <laughs> swingless thing that we had, it was cool for then, but it's not but moving music as much. 